Mm, so you want to make thumbnails like this. You want to have Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop for free and do it the legal way. But I got you today. So what you're going to need for this is you're just going to need internet. And that's about it. You're literally going to have Adobe for free. So what you want to do is you want to head over to Google Chrome. And then you want to type out Photopia. There we go. Once you type that Photopia, it should be the first link. If it's not the first link, just throw out the second link. It should stand photo peer online photo edit so there we go we got adobe photoshop it takes all the adobe files so in case you're just in a hurry and you don't have your photoshop on this specific laptop or pc you can just throw your file onto this uh editing program and there you go you got it so let's see you can go to new and you can add you can do it has all the from um, adobe photoshop features and then you can just create new and you can add some things it has all the tools and I also found out that uh, the shortcuts for Adobe works on this as well. It's basically Adobe. You get in Adobe basically for free. So yeah, you basically get in everything for free. And you got the uh, tools here, all the tools you can cut out. You can do the text. I think it has some free uh, text. Yes, it has some free fonts as well. So you can go go wild with the fonts so if you're using this for thumbnails using this for anything basically it's adobe photoshop you can do anything you can have the brushing tool you got the cutting tool you got the magical tool you got every tool literally every tool that you need the thumbnail of this video is basically made from this i didn't use my adobe photoshop i used this because i wanted to just show you how good you can actually make thumbnails with this specific Adobe Shop is basically Adobe Shop free. Yeah, so you got Adobe Shop. So, so what you're waiting for? Anyway, this this is basically the short video. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, you can also check out this in case you don't know how to use OBS Studios. You can check this video out. And also, I would love to, you know, like the video and also subscribe. But anyway, see you next time.